Now then, how is it? It's a beautiful day today. Uh, June, the birds are singing, the insects are laking about, having fun. So should we too, but we can't today. Because we're just doing a little video before I get a bit of frivolity going on. Um, so I was approached by this client. Uh, really enjoyed working in uh, this property. Um, this particular farm. It's been in uh, it's been in the family for generations. And uh, the, the, the chap's like a, a mind of knowledge about like local goings on, like local st and stories. Just a really interesting chap to talk to. Love working for like uh, clients like that. So um, we've got a beautiful garden on the other side, and it's quite a windswept side, is this? So the wind comes hurtling down here, straight into the back of the house. Um, so the original grass still was built when the, the property was renovated. Um, it just finished at like ground level, so we needed a little bit of protection um, for, the, for the from the prevailing winds, some damage in the shrubs, and let the garden perform a little bit better. So. The original wall just kind of run, run straight through like that, so that all the wind just blew into the back of the house. So, what we've done the wall, the wall come along, straight up a little bit, took out any ding, dings and bangs and the little wiggles. And um, when we strengthen the original wall, we put some more fruit stones, just make it as stiff and as stable as possible. And that allowed us to put an extra. Bit of height of the wall. It's quite tricky these jobs like this because when the original wall is built, um, it comes up and uh, obviously, well, it, the wall top finishes at, at 12 inch. So when I put an extra bit of height on, if I was to carry on at the same batter, it'd be finishing at like 6 inch, which we can't have because the, the top stones uh, act to tie the top of the wall together and compress everything stop everything from wiggling around so what i've had to do is bring the top few quarters of the wall out a couple of inch so more free stones like i say keep it stable and then that gives me like a decent uh, base to build uh, some extra height on the wall and um, so i say we straight straighten the wall out and then I've, I've tried to match it the original wall as style with my own which is quite tricky is like uh, handwriting, uh, dry stone wall is very much like handwriting. Everyone's got their own style and their own particular uh, way of doing things. Um, so what I've done is, of, of course, uh, of course, each uh, each new course of walling on. And I think it's like made a nice, a real nice uh, job. So like I say, with uh, quite extra freezing at regular intervals. Keep that wall nice and stiff, and then the, the old top stones. Well, in fact, this section of the wall wasn't topped out, so I think it's only topped up out here. So, we've had to go down to the farmer's stone pile, pick out some decent uh, stone, dress all the top stones up to get them on the same size, and then you're left with this beautiful straight top line that finishes the wall off nicely. So, we shall go around to the other side and we shall see what kind of effect it's had on the garden. One moment, do a little Annika rides. Go for this little seated area. So as you can see, it's a lot more secluded now. Um, you know, these, these plants can, can romp on without any prevailing wind and the perennials have grown up nicely. And it's just blend, blends in the, the wall nicely with the garden. Finishes it off beautifully. So as you can see, way more secluded now. Uh, so as these shrubs grow up, all the wind will be coming in and going straight up over the house instead of blasting into the back and damaging all the plants and shrubs. Beautiful. I do enjoy my job. I hope you enjoy your day.